I'm glad you could join me there. You sort of caught me fiddling around here a little bit. And, and you decided you wanted to change your mind. Watch here, watch here. Just take your knife and just zip it off the canvas. Normally, we'd end up, we ended up just taking this canvas and putting it aside or washing it completely down and starting over. But let me show you what you can do. Let's just go back to this old two inch brush. And I'm just going to grab this and lift it upward. Let's just lift upward. Burn this out. Just wash it with a little odorless thinner. Shake it off. <laughs> Beat the devil out of it and go about your business. Now then, I'm just going to sort of blend all this together. Just bring it together. And turn the brush this way. And maybe here and there, put a few little... See how you can move that paint? It's like doing reflections backwards. Look at there. Get to some of the browns. Pick up a little crimson. Oh, a little touch of the sap green. And tap firmly. Now then, come right along in here. And let's just... A little more color on the brush. And go right into here. Oh, there's one right there. Look at that. Now I'm going to take the liner brush, dip it right in some paint thinner, right into Van Dyke Brown, turn that brush, bring it to a nice sharp point. There we go. Okay. Let me grab my old round brush and I'll just beat some of the loose paint off of it. It still has brown in it. I'm going to dip right into a little touch of the liquid white and go right into yellow. Tap that brush firmly, 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 firmly. Farthest away. In my world, I want this one to be the farthest away. In yours, that might be the closest. But you have to make that decision. Some of the yellows, some of the yellows. A little touch of paint thinner. And a touch of the bright red, just a touch. Awesome.